six of Active Aging Fitness Challenge. And today you have a goal to do a series called 30, 20, 10. And today you're gonna need a chair to help with our squats, a set of hand weights and a timer, All right? So the goal of today's workout is really for you to listen to your body and to understand that when you get tired or fatigued, you have to take a break and how just a little break in the action is gonna give you just enough strength and energy to finish up strong. So a great way to prevent injury on our day-to-day -day activities is to listen to your body, right? If you're gardening or washing windows or sewing and you start to feel fatigue in your back, you don't wanna say, oh, I'm just gonna do a little bit more and a little bit more because then you're really gonna end up with some back issues. If you feel a tightness or something a little uncomfortable in your back or your neck or your shoulders, you go, oh, if I just stop a second, right? And stretch out a minute, Give myself a little break, right? Change positions. And then you can get back to doing what you love instead of push, push, push through everything. And then you end up injured and you have to be off um, the things that you love to do for like a week. So 30 of every exercise, then we do it 20 times and then we do it 10 times. So we have squats, bicep curls, a mountain climber, and bicycle crunches for our abs. I'm gonna use a chair for our squats, okay? That way, every time you go down, you guys are gonna have to count your own reps, okay? So don't go at my pace, just use it as kind of a guide, okay? You're gonna go 30 times down and up from the chair, then you're gonna get your weights and you're gonna do 30 curls. When you get tired, I need you to take the break, okay? I'll take breaks in between the exercises, okay? To remind you and to let you see what it feels like to take the break. If you have strength and stamina today and you're feeling feisty, then see if you can get through it without taking a break, okay? After the bicep curls, we go right into 30 climbers. One, two, each foot counts as a rep, okay? And then we do the bicycle crunches. I'm gonna show them on the floor, okay? You're gonna get down, you're gonna take your time, okay? And you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Really good form, okay? And you get to do 30 of those. Then you come up and you go, oh my gosh, I want to do 20 squats. So you do 20, hit the bench or the chair each time, 20 curls. Right now you're getting it. 20 mountain climbers. Okay. And then 20 bicycles and then we're going to do it all 10 times and it's going to be a great workout. Okay. So you need a chair, a set of hand weights, definitely a water bottle and a timer. I'm going to use my phone to help time me today. And you gotta breathe. All right, roll your shoulders a little bit. Set your mindset to this workout today. Oh, tip your head. Oh, I wanna know how much tension you have in the neck before we grab our weights. We do this all the time. It's a basic warm up. Feels good. All right, three centers, roll the shoulders. Oh. Two more, come on, one more. So you have to promise me today, take your hand, pull. How tight are you up here? That when you're doing the 30 repetitions, to the other side, you take a break when you need it, right? We're training your brain to listen to your body and say, oh, I feel a little fatigued or I'm tired. I need to take a little break, right? That's a big part of aging strong, listening to your body. You don't have to necessarily slow down, but the benefits of relaxing in between, you know, we're doing gardening pretty soon and you want to pick one more weed, one more weed, and before you know it, that shoulder's achy. If you listened right away and you came up and you got to roll that shoulder out a little bit, a little stretch for it feels good, you'd be amazed, right? You could get back to gardening sooner. So we want to prevent injuries. We want to get you strong. Build your confidence up so you know what your body is capable of and then let you set up for success. All right, we ready to start? Oh, let me do a couple of heel to butts. I want to know how your knees are bending before I put you into that squat, okay? If you're loving the idea of this workout but you're nervous about a certain exercise like a squat, what can you do? You can modify and not go down all the way, okay? Right? If that knee was really bothering you, like every time you squat down, it hurts, 
I really don't want you to do that. I want you to come up and you'll do high marches, right? Still great to strengthen the legs. You'll get a little stomach and a little back work too, all right? All right, so push your hips side to side. Now I will tell you that when we do the squats and those mountain climbers, your heart rate's gonna go up a little bit. So if you're concerned about that, you have a, you know, a little heart rate that isn't supposed to go too high, you want to talk to your doctor. We love talking to our doctors about our health and our physical activity. They're always excited to hear when I call up and check on one of my clients. Get some feedback from them on how they're doing. Okay, so don't be afraid to say to your doctor, hey, you know what, when I was doing my exercises the other day, my heart rate was really high and then it didn't come down as quick. All right, so be mindful of that and don't be afraid to talk to your doctor. Good. They love knowing that you're getting stronger. All right, you guys. Check your wrists. Are we excited for this? Do you have a timer? All right, shake out. Grab your timer or just look at the clock, right? Because I'd like for you to write down your, your finish time and then we'll test you again in a couple days and you can say, oh my God, my stamina is better. My strength is better. I felt more comfortable recovering in between the exercises. It's a great way for us to test our strength and our endurance. Right, let me find my stopwatch. All right, we start with our squats. You have a station to work with, okay? All right, here we go, down and up. Find a pace that works for you. Breathe. Don't follow my pace, you do what feels good for you. But you gotta do 30. Nice. How you feeling? Good. Those arms bother you, you can bring them up. Nice. I've got 10 more. If you needed a break, shake it out. Oh. Oh, good, down and up. Come on. We want 30 of them. I don't care how long it takes you, just get through your 30. All right, I did 30 of those. Woo, that's gonna feel good. Legs feel good. I'm taking a little breather before I grab my weights. Oh. I don't know how these are gonna feel. I've got eight. Oh, I might have to take a break in between. Keep moving those legs. All right, up and down. Good. I don't mind if you move your legs a little bit. Right? How we doing? Good control. All right, I did 10. Heart rate's coming down, inhale and exhale. Good, drive that weight, you're strong. No pain in the elbows or the shoulders. Oh. Good, relax your neck. Exhale, that's 20 for me. Okay, maybe I have to shake out. Oh, I gotta get through 10 more. How many do you have to get through? If you've already finished, go into your mountain climbers. I've got 10 more. Nice. Relax your grip. We don't wanna strangle those weights. Come on, a couple more for me. Bend at your knees when you put the weights down. I'm two minutes into my exercise. Mountain climbers, I'm gonna go to the floor, but you can always go to your chair. How are we doing? Did you already start without me? One, two, oops. One. 20, one. 30. Oh, this is gonna be good today. If you get dizzy, you gotta breathe, okay? Take your time, bring it down. Legs are in, low back flat into the floor, and we've got one, two. And again. Good. I've got 10 more. Tight. All right. How'd you do with the 
30. Up, up, up. Who's ready for 20 squats? Have you already started your 20? Go at your own pace. Did you get warm? All right, my goal on my 20 is to do all 20 with no break. I'm three minutes and 42 seconds in. All right, here we go. One, all the way down, all the way up. Find a pace that works for you. Oh, good. Come on. Nice, I'm proud of you today for doing this. I've got 10 more. Don't give up. Oh. Meaning take a break and then go back to it. Don't walk away for the day. Oh. Feels good to be strong. Your body likes to move through space. 20. Woo. Oh. Right, I'm moving into my 20 curls, okay? I feel pretty good. Okay, warmer than I thought I'd be, but that's all right. Oh. I'm gonna keep moving my feet a second. Here I go. Good. Ooh. Nice. Walking around a little, so I don't just stand still after those squats. Are you counting? <laughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. I need a little break. How about you? I've got ten more. God, you're picking something up, walking through the house. You're strong. Come on. Strong. Come on. Good. How's your neck? That's my twenty. Good. Nice. All right, so my neck doesn't feel too bad today. Right? If I did, I would do this. And then pull those shoulder blades apart. Mountain climb. How you doing with that? You want to use your chair, use it. Are the wrists bothering you? You can go forearms, but they're going to be little knee dips. Okay? If you want to, go ahead. You can do that. It really helps. It tightens up the abs. All right, I got 20 climbers. That's 10. Take it back. And forward. Come on. That's 10. One, two. 20. Nice. Now we're into tens. Good job. All right, shake it out. Woo! You got this? My goal for my last set of 10 is to go right from squats to curls to climbers to crunches, okay? I'm gonna try not to take a break. You pick your goal. What are you gonna do? Have a plan. Take breaks. Here I go. curls. I like to move a little bit with this. Four, five, six, seven. Feels so good to almost be done. Nine, ten. Mountain climbs. You ready? Are you already done? Did you beat me? Those are some fast tens. Hit your watch. Eight minutes and four seconds. How'd you do? I'm gonna write it down. All right, step touch.
I'm so proud of you. Let me cool you down. Oh, how'd you do? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of 30, 20, 10? Okay. You could do any four exercises. You could do two exercises. You could do six exercises. Ah, oh, loose. Ah. Oh. Bring that heart rate down a little. Release tension. Oh, so nice. I hope you took breaks. That's the goal of this workout, right? Listen to your body when you're tired or fatigued. Take a small break. All right, side to side. And that's the skill you want to use as you head through your day, okay? If you're working around the house, right, doing a chore or an activity and things start to bother you, right? Even think about reading or working on the computer. If your shoulders, wrists, elbows start to bother you, you change alignment, you give yourself a little break, and then you can go back to it strong and healthy. We don't end up with long-term issues, okay? Inhale it up. Oh, exhale. Shake it out, push those hips. You should feel good about yourself today. I hope you learned a little bit about your strength, your stamina, okay? And I look forward to retesting you again oh, in a couple weeks. Make sure you wrote down your time. And if you didn't, I understand. I don't always write down my time. We can do it again together later. So I hope you enjoyed the workout. Thank you and have a really strong day.